Cards by Kate Fletcher. Today is week two of my Corona Craft Challenge Take Two and I thought this week we would do a challenge of two parts. So the first part of the challenge is going to be to make a happy mail folio and I'm going to show you how to make that. The second part of the challenge is to actually use our stash. So it's going to be to grab out of your stash things that you had either bought and then hoarded because it's far too nice to use or far too cute to use um, or something that you bought, used a bit and then have not touched for a long, long time. So I have grabbed out my Christmas with Wellington 12 by 12 pad. I bought this my very first Christmas crafting. Um, and then fell into my paper addiction so it hasn't seen much use since then and I've also grabbed my festive wonder pad I bought this last year um, and again it's so pretty I just haven't done much with it and I have got to be a lot better so I'm going to be using that pad and then for decoration, I have grabbed my shoebox of um, toppers and stickers and things. Again, I bought these on my first Christmas that I was crafting, but an absolute fortune on them. And then I haven't really used them since, so I've grabbed those. And I've also grabbed some die cuts that I was sent in a swap. Some of them I've altered up, so like that one, I've gone around with a... Um, highlighting glitter pen this one I've painted with sparkling so I don't know if it's going to catch in the light and some of the others I've just glossy accented um, that one I've drawn the Rudolph nose on but I thought I would use these as well because they were sent to be used and not sit and be hoarded so I'm going to be using those for decoration so let's get into how to assemble this folio. So you're going to need a 12 by 12 pad and each of these panels measures 6 inches by 8 and 7 eighths. So I have used for mine today two sheets of 12 by 12 and I've used the same design but you could easily use different sheets and just alternate them and mix and match it's entirely up to you I'm doing four pages you could do more if you want it's entirely up to you now these ones weren't double-sided so I have cut extra panels and stuck them on the back of a different design they're all the same because I wanted something on the back of mine and I think that's really really pretty so the next thing we're going to need is some washi tape. I've gone with Christmas trees because I'm on a bit of a Christmas theme here. Um, and we're going to stick these together. So all we need to do is lay them down, line the tops up, but leave, I don't know, maybe an one eighth of an inch, if that. You just want to leave a little bit of room so that these can move so don't like butt them up to each other because you don't need to do that and then you're going to hold them in place with your washi just like this and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cover the other side as well the great thing about washi, or this one at least, is it's low tack, so it's not going to stick to my desk. I'm just going to fold that bit over, and I'm going to run it up here. Now, this is going to bother me a little bit that um, the Christmas trees are going the wrong way, so I will probably put another piece going down the page so that you don't have the Christmas trees going in the wrong direction it's entirely up to you you don't have to do that personal choice but it's what I'm gonna do 
Let's just go over the top of this. Cover them up. Because that would annoy me, having them going the wrong way. Okay. And then we just repeat this step for the other two. So let's put that one there, leave the small gap, line the tops and the bottoms up. Hold it in place with the washi. Oh, well, this is great again, all year round. But how nice is it to be able to send a Crafty Pal or a Pen Pal special Christmas wallet filled with treats and goodies at Christmas. So I thought this would be nice for that. But you could do this, as I say, you could do it for Easter, birthday, anything you wanted really. Now that will all fold up nicely and then unfold to reveal your treats inside. So now you can add things to the inside. So I have pre prepped a few things. So I'm going to put some envelopes in on one page. Um, I used my we are memory keepers envelope maker and if you're using this one and you're going to use the same measurements as me the cardstock size to make the envelopes to fit in this need to be um six and three quarters by six and three quarters and your score line on here would be at two and three quarters and then they fit absolutely fine so I'm going to put uh, these, actually I think I will put them in the middle. And I will fill this with goodies off camera because I think this will probably be going to a subscriber. There's a little Christmas treat or a Christmas mail out and thank you for supporting the channel because I do want to do that this year. At the time of filming this video I've actually reached 299 subscribers so I'm one person away from the magic 300. I am so so chuffed so thank you to everyone who has supported me this yeah, thank you to everyone who has joined me this year. I hope everyone is enjoying the channel and um, enjoying what I do. I'm trying not to put up too many videos um, and I'm trying to stick to my um, for a week type thing. But I've got so many ideas. <laughs> I don't know. There might be a couple of extra sneaking in here and there. Just for things I want to do. Okay, so they can be filled later. Then I'm going to put a pocket and a pocket on there. So it's entirely up to you how you fill this to put um, goodies in for whoever you're sending it to. You could easily do a... Um, waterfall mechanism and put in one of these but that's going to bulk it up a bit and I'm trying to keep these quite flat this does fit in a C5 envelope um, which are really cheap to buy especially if you go somewhere like the pound shop they had them B&M have them they're really readily available I don't know where all mine go I swear my husband 
borrows my C5s. I'm going to put another pocket at the top. So I already have an idea of what I'm going to be putting in this. Some of it will be handmade, some of it will be stuff I've bought. I'm going to leave room so that they can get the stuff out the top. Okay. And then I'm going to put a tuck spot on this far page. Just be careful when you're putting bits on the long side that you don't go over your line that you left. The whole point of leaving that is so the pages can move and close easily. So you can kind of see where your line is anyway. Okay, so that will now close up like so. So we need to put a closure on it. You can use whatever you like. You could use twine and tie it. You could um, use ribbon. I'm going to use some of these i was actually looking for my dot and dab ones my little round ones but um they seem to have disappeared they're not where they should be so that's a tad upsetting but never mind so if you close it up first so you've got it how you want it to open and close and then you can just Put these on the inside. Okay. And that will hold it closed. And your recipient will open it and find all the loveliness inside. So let's have a look at decorating these quickly. Thing is with me the decoration is always what bulks it up in the end because I get a little bit carried away <laughs> have these really cute Santas I might use one of those so use that one Okay. Some of this stuff is so old, it's not coming off the release paper as it should. It's not that good, is it? To add some glue. In there. Half the fun, I always think, is the decoration. It's nice to make stuff, but I really love decorating it up, making it look pretty. I think Santa needs a tree with him. And then I've got these Christmas stockings. Got the robins which could go on there. I feel like this needs something. Got those cute bows. Or the jiggly snowman. In fact, let's put a jiggly snowman, that's kind of cute. They move, they're quite cute. Just put him there. There we go. 
Um, I suppose when I have filled those, I could seal them off with a bow. That might be quite cute. So I think I'll leave those in there to remind myself. So I'm going to close that up. That's not actually added too much bulk. Kind of happy with that. So let's decorate the front. Where are my die cuts? Okay. So I hope everybody is well, safe, crafting, not struggling at all. Like if anybody ever is struggling and just needs a rant or needs to talk, honestly, just email me. I think everyone needs to help everyone at this challenging time. I don't think anyone has ever been through anything like this before um and i think it's really important that we all stick together so honestly if anybody is ever needing to talk to anyone anytime day night whatever just bung me an email and i will pick it up my phone's always on, um, so how cute does that look? I'm gonna try and stick that like that, try and remember where everything is. Okay, so that is my finished folio for Happy Mail. Really pleased with how that's come out. We'll get that filled up really soon and in the post. And that is what I'm challenging you to make this week, along with using stuff from your stash that you've either bought and never used or bought a long time ago and not touched since. So I look forward to seeing your creations. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope that maybe this is something you've not tried before and um, it gives you an idea of something different to try. Thank you very much for watching today and I'll be back very soon with more videos. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.